Hi, I am Dr. Siddharth Verma from Pain Relief Center in Chembur and in this video I will talk about myofascial pain syndrome. So myofascial pain syndrome, although it's a very uncommon term to most uh, patients, but it is the most common cause of the uh, pain which we see in our OPD. So uh, this is so common that around one study has estimated that around 60% of the patients who come with musculoskeletal pain are suffering from this myofascial pain syndrome. So what is this myofascial pain? So myo means muscle and fascia, facial means fascia. So uh, this is a soft tissue pain and uh, typically this uh, presents when the uh, uh, patient suddenly complains of uh, pain in some, some muscle belly or some portion of his body and uh, uh, it is persisting for long duration of time. He takes some painkillers, some tablets, gets some massage and all done but he is not relieved uh, typically and uh, there, the characteristic point of this uh, myofascial pain syndrome is presence of active or passive. Uh, trigger points. So, uh, what are trigger points? Trigger points or tender points are, uh, there is a difference between tender and trigger points. In trigger points, the pain uh, spreads from throughout the belly of the particular muscles uh, if you press on the particular uh, trigger point and on the tender point, the pain is uh, localized to the portion where you have uh, elicited or uh, applied the uh, pressure. So, uh, these uh, trigger points are nothing but they are actually areas of uh, uh, dysfunctional muscle which has developed a dysfunction uh, because of uh, various factors. The exact cause is not known but some uh, theories have postulated that there is dysfunctional blood flow to those, those areas and this results in uh, areas of ischemia and later on uh, this these become the nerve fibers become hypersensitized and uh, this is how the pathogenesis occurs and uh, this pain uh, they, when there are multiple tender points or trigger points throughout this uh, belly of a muscle then this results in a lot of uh, pain and discomfort for the patient and uh, this is not relieved by uh, medications usually not relieved by massage not relieved by um, uh, even stretching or some exercises and uh, alone and then the patient uh, goes and gets some uh, investigations like uh, MRI done and they are even normal and uh, then uh, patient is even more confused even doctors are confused so what to do uh, however if uh, this uh, syndrome is kept in mind then a lot of patients can yield uh, benefit so as i told you the cause is uh, usually uh, the development of a trigger or a tender point in the muscle belly is also known as soft tissue pain and uh, uh, the uh, etiopathologist i have already explained uh, now coming to the clinical features in uh, if we talk of the clinical features they can vary from uh, pain on touching to pain on activity uh, to even uh, uh, psychological symptoms like uh, depression loss of interest this all can happen uh, due to this uh, syndrome uh, because uh, beyond a point when this persists the area or regional involvement starts occurring more and more more and more more and more mu muscle fibers uh, are uh, affected and more and more new muscle uh, myotomes are affected and this results in a lot of uh, uh, discomfort uh, for the patient and uh, amplification of the uh, symptoms. Uh, once central sensitization occurs uh, or maybe the peripheral sensitization occurs, uh, then it is further complicated and to add to it, once the imbalance occurs, all the other uh, uh, musculoskeletal uh, system abnormalities also are accelerated. So, uh, how to diagnose it and how to treat it? What we do is when patient comes to us with the uh, uh, soft tissue pain, we immediately diagnose, it's a clinical diagnosis However, newer modalities uh, like the infrared uh, cameras, uh, they pick up the uh, uh, areas of lesser temperature in these muscles nowadays and uh, but however these are in nascent stages and more or less it is a clinical diagnosis. So uh, many of uh, uh, good physiotherapists also pick up this uh, uh, syndrome very well and uh, they try to treat it with the uh, uh, dry needling or with the uh, uh, with exercise, with uh, um, uh, recruitment, with the 
other physical activities, uh, physical modalities. Uh, however, in many cases, the uh, pain is uh, still persistent, the syndrome still uh, exists and persists in that particular patient and that is when uh, the patient comes to us. If the patient directly walks in, we identify this at an early stage and immediately give the treatment. So, treatment here is uh, very straightforward, uh, an early case almost uh, gives a 100% uh, result. Uh, however, the treatment needs to be repeated at uh, frequent intervals and it has to be clubbed with uh, uh, ruling out the possible causes and eliminating them. So, very, it's very imperative that uh, the possible cause is found out for this uh, myofascial pain syndrome and more often than not, it, it can be found. Say for example, some uh, uh, patient walks in with uh, neck pain and uh, if I examine and I find that there are the, all the trapezius is having a lot of uh, tender points and uh, the patient is having neck pain and he is not able to move or rotate his neck or uh, do all the routine movements, then I possibly will try to find out what are his activities. Does he do uh, long hour sitting or does he uh, travel a, a lot? or uh, what are the activities which uh, have possibly led to this kind of symptom. Once uh, uh, I start treating the patient simultaneously, uh, we also uh, try to uh, take away this uh, bad habits and uh, inculcate good habits in these uh, patients and we try to educate them about their symptoms and uh, with the uh, in addition to the pharmacological treatment in addition to the interventional treatment uh, we also add these exercises so that the patient can have adequate strength we add stretching uh, we uh, may take the help of our uh, physiotherapist friends and uh, this may result in the complete resolution of the symptoms very fast. So, what are the interventions which we do in this uh, syndrome? So, the uh, basic interventions which we do are the trigger point uh, injections and uh, uh, ultrasound guided uh, trigger point needlings. So, in uh, trigger point injections, there is a uh, we locate the most tender point and uh, then with the help of a uh, needle and uh, often under ultrasound guidance, uh, we uh, go to the uh, trigger point and then we infiltrate with the uh, small uh, local anesthetic as well as sometimes we add a uh, low dose of local uh, anti-inflammatory agent like a um, uh, methylprednisolone or uh, kinacot. So, this drug what it does is it uh, helps in uh, elevating the local inflammation and uh, the needling portion it uh, increases the blood flow there and uh, results in active healing and we couple this with the stretching and uh, uh, later on recruitment and uh, 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 exercises so that um, usually isometric exercises so that the patient develops uh, uh, muscle strength and this results in um, a resolution of the symptom. Uh, dry needling is another method which is uh, commonly used and it has a very specific indication. Nowadays uh, uh, we are using ultrasound guided uh, dry needling and we can typically see the twitches uh, which are uh, uh, present once the needle touches this uh, tender points or the trigger zones and uh, uh, once the proper needling is done it is uh, uh, the resolution is uh, very good and the result is very nice. Uh, this syndrome is often common uh, is uh, also common in uh, post surgical patients in cancer patients uh, and in patients who are suffering from other illnesses and uh, once we do these treatments the results are excellent. In addition to this it, uh, uh, it is also helpful if we uh, examine the, uh, the uh, blood investigations also of these patients and many of these patients have been found to be deficient in uh, vitamin D and B12 and uh, this can be replenished and uh, another uh, um, some bioenergizers like coenzyme Q, they are also found to be helpful uh, in these patients. So, if you are suffering from uh, chronic muscle pain, you had some lot of massage and uh, you went to your uh, um, trusted physiotherapist and he was not able to help you fully and uh, earlier you used to get well but now you are not getting well and uh, again the pain is persisting. So, please do not suffer and uh, come to pain relief center and uh, we will try our best to help you and um, the earlier you come the better the results are. 
and uh, don't ignore uh, myofascial pain syndrome it can uh, magnify and uh, often become very difficult to treat in the later stages to know more you can visit uh, my website uh, librate website thank you